We have Sarah Williams and Karis Davis. Okay, well, Boroda Paub. I um, hope everyone can hear me. Um, uh, we're going to introduce our project here today. And um, just thinking about what we were doing, um, it's been very much an evolving kind of project. Um, we started off by looking at, obviously, the needs in the college, the things that we really wanted to focus on. And just as everyone else here today, um, it's the same kind of thing. It's active learning, challenge and stretch, differentiation. It's about really looking at the quality of the learning coming from the teaching. So it's that flip side of the teaching, but actually looking at the impact on learning. And assessment for learning, obviously, and the evidence-based approaches um, that came to the forefront of that. In terms of um, what we were trying to achieve, we started off with quite a directed um, model of teaching and learning leadership. We put in structures for planning effective learning. We created teaching takeaways to help teachers to um, consider different strategies for teaching and learning. But as we evolved the project, the thing that became really exciting for us was the the seed groups which were created from people who were just really keen, really enthusiastic and wanted to use technology. But not technology for technology's sake, but really powerful tools for learning. And it's those tools that really became the hook, if you like, for um, the most exciting elements of, um, of, of the project that we've been working with. And, you know, using and supported experimentation, those people who were involved in those seed groups really could see the benefit of what they were doing. They were able to reflect in a more structured way. And for me, the most powerful thing of that has been almost that these ideas have gone viral in a peer learning, if you like, from practitioners across the college. So people were actually sharing those ideas across and across departments. And, and as a result of that, we've got a much more effective spread, if you like, or embedding of, of those technologies emerging. So Sarah is going to talk about those. Thank you. So um, I'm going to mainly talk about how we've used technology for learning in the next few slides. We had three main areas of focus, um, using interactive tools for assessment and feedback in sessions, using technology to um, provide feedback to learners, either in sessions or outside of sessions, and then also the use of vodcasts and videos to enable the flipped classroom. In relation to the flipped classroom, um, initially we started to make videos available via our Moodle site or Google Drive, but then we started to look at other ways to maybe engage and motivate learners a little bit more and make it easier for them to access resources. So we've used QR codes, um, augmented reality posters, which you can see up there, and also in some curriculum areas, um, the videos have embed been embedded into iBooks, along with other interactive materials within the iBooks. There was also a real keenness to explore how we could use mobile technology to engage and motivate learners that actually began in catering and hospitality. And they wanted to look at how we could use technology not only to develop the curriculum, but also to embed some of the more difficult things, so um, perhaps numeracy, literacy and Welsh. And initially just by using things like QR codes to let the learners access resources on their mobile devices. Also, blogs have been really successful, so where learners maybe don't like engaging in writing skills, by letting them put blog entries on a mobile phone, it's been a really good way of encouraging and engaging them to do written work, um, but they see it in a little bit more of a fun way. So that's worked really well, um, both for work experience, curriculum-based projects, um, and also just learners' own sort of producing maybe CVs and things like that for the future. In relation to assessment and feedback, um, we've had a few things that have popped up on the slide here. Um, we've used BKSB to we use that for initial and diagnostic assessment for literacy and numeracy in college, but it also maps to the learners to teach materials that they can work through to help them develop their skills. And what we've done is um, link that in with our EILP, which is called ATEB, which works on computers and mobile phones, and made sure that the learners have really smart targets that relate to their literacy and numeracy in their EILP that's linked 
in with BKSB. We've also been using a couple of apps on um, tablet devices and mobile phones. So Nearpod and so Socrative are two applications that allow learners to provide feedback during sessions so they can answer questions. And the tutor's got really rich information as to how well learning is progressing within those sessions. The other two things on this slide I'm going to move on to now. So we've been using video analysis and coaching apps as well. So we record learners in practical activities and then we're either able to annotate um, feedback to them, which you can see on the top left-hand example there. So that's just showing the learner how to hold the wood um, securely when they're undertaking the tasks they've been set. Or we can play back clips in slow motion. So in equine there, we're showing one of the learners what they needed to do to improve when they were preparing for a jump. Also, in relation to the use of video um, and images for giving feedback to learners, we've started using Google Communities, and this enables the learners to have a lot more involvement in the information that's posted up there. So the example here, we've got floristry students who are taking pictures of their work that they're producing during the session. It's available instantly for them to access on their mobile phones, but then to reflect on after the session. So the learners can then peer assess, sorry, can self-assess what they've done, um, with a comment underneath the picture, peer assess can take place and tutors can give feedback as well and that started off being very tutor led but now it's really led and engaged by the learners um, outcomes then so we've had an improved profile in teaching and learning that you can see there we had a couple of visits from Eston last year and it was really welcoming to see that they were noticing the things that we felt that we were doing well and then some of the activity outputs that we've got, we've put together um, a Google site for our QIF project, which um, we've got a QR code to help you access that later on. And that's got things like the teaching takeaways, it's got our um, embedding effective learning framework, but also some case study examples of the work that's taken place. And also a couple of digital toolkits, so some apps that we found particularly useful for assessment for learning and improving feedback to and from learners, and another to enable the flipped classroom. And that's it. Here's some of our learners enjoying their learning experiences using mobile technology. Yes, <laughs>